No, this is not the regular Nike Dragonfly 2. This is the Dragonfly 2 Elite. And an interesting move, just a couple months after releasing the regular Dragonfly 2, they quietly released the Dragonfly 2 Elite. So I believe there are only about 100 of these available to the public, and the reason for this very limited release was due to the Olympics and the World Athletic Rules. So the rules state that development shoes cannot be used in the Olympics, and they define development shoes as being shoes that aren't available for sale to the public. So by releasing a small amount of these to the public, that makes them no longer a development shoe and they can technically legally be used to compete in the Olympics. All right, enough of the backstory though, let's talk about the spike itself. So the upper is pretty much the same as the Dragonfly 2, the light breathable mesh with the stiff heel and Achilles cutout. The midsole uses the same less compressed Zumex formula that the Alpha Fly 3 uses. Like the Dragonfly 2, it has a base that's a little bit wider to be more stable on turns and straightaways, but instead of the P-backs or composite plate, it is a full-length carbon fiber plate. Like the Dragonfly 2, it does have four pins, but these are non-removable, and since they're non-removable, they are made of a higher quality, more durable material. Holding the spikes in place is a composite frame that helps add extra grip as well. So Nike said that they have developed the shoes for their elites for the championship races, big races like like the World Championships or the Olympics, and we're not sure if there's gonna be another release. If there is, I doubt it's gonna be in 2024. There might be one in 2025, or there could never be one again at all. When there was a limited release, they were $190, which is $30 more than the regular Dragonfly 2. And like I mentioned, you get that carbon fiber plate and the non-removable, more durable spikes as kind of the two biggest differences compared to the regular Dragonfly 2. So let me know what you think. Should Nike do a wider release of the Dragonfly 2 Elite? Should they just make this the Dragonfly 3? Is it worth the extra $30? Go ahead, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'm working on an evolution of the Dragonfly video going back to, from the 2016 Olympics, some of the early prototypes there, all the way up to today for the 2024 Olympics. So subscribe so you don't miss that. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep on running.